Hello Divi Nation and welcome. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to creatively use Divi's row borders to create a stunning hero section design. This is the final result we're aiming to achieve. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. All right, so let's start by creating a brand new page. So I'm going to come over here to pages and click on add new. Next, we're going to give this page a title and then we're going to click on use Divi Builder. Now, this design can be added to an existing page or you can design this from scratch. So in this example, we're going to be designing everything from scratch. So I'm going to go ahead and build from scratch. All right. So I'm just going to close this for now because the first thing we want to do here is to add my colors to my background. So I'm going to click here on section settings, background, and then I'm going to click on the second tab here because we are going to be adding a gradient. So I'm going to start by clicking this plus button. Now, if you want to use the exact same colors as I'm using throughout this tutorial, I will leave a link to the post in the show notes below. All right, so let's start by adding our first color. So I'm going to click here and paste my color in here. And then I'm also going to come over here to my second color and set this to white. All right, so now it's time to set our start and end position. So I'm going to come over here to my start position, set this to 63. And my end position is also going to be 63. All right, great. So that's looking okay. Now, the next stage is to go to the spacing because I want to make sure I add some breathing space to my section. So I'm going to come over here to design, sizing. No, in fact, we need to go to spacing. And then I'm going to add my top and bottom padding. And this is going to be 6VW. All right, so now I've added to the top. We also need to apply this to the bottom. So I'm just going to activate this chain. So the same value now is added both to the top and the bottom. Now it's time to add our rows. So I'm going to go ahead and save this, click this plus button, and the row we're going to add is a single column. So I'm going to go ahead and select it. Now, before we go in and start making any adjustments and adding our modules, I'm just going to close this. And again, I'm going to click here on my row settings. So the first thing I'm going to do is to make sure my design spans the whole width. So I'm going to set my maximum width. So what I'm going to do now is to click here on design sizing and set my maximum width to 100% because as you can see right now, it's set to 1080, right? So I'm going to add 100% and then I'm also going to come over here to spacing and add a padding of zero to the top and the bottom. All right, so now that we've uh, made all these changes, the next stage is to add our image. So I'm going to click on this plus button, search for my image module and I'm going to select it. I'm going to click here and choose my image. I'm going to click on it. Now, before I move um, before I move ahead, take a note of the sizes. So I'm using 1160 by 1385. So make sure you use the same dimensions to pretty much achieve the same results. But uh, of course, you can use any type of image that you want for your designs. So I'm going to go ahead now and click upload an image. Next, I'm going to come over here to design, sizing, and make sure that this is set to force full width. All right. So with that done now, I'm also going to come over here to spacing and over here where it says show space below image. In fact, let me just show you what that looks like. It's that space over here. So we want to set this to no. And then we're going to set our left padding. So I'm going to come over here and make sure my left padding is set to 17 VW. Now, the next, stage, uh, the next stage is to add a style. In fact, we need to add a border here to the top right. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to come over here to border. Now, if I add my value in here, it's going to be applied to all the sides because my chain is activated. So I need to deactivate it first and then add my value over here. Now, notice now as soon as I've entered my 50 VW, we have this beautiful shape here on the top. So now we need to uh, play around with the filters and make my image look, uh, look slightly different. So I'm going to scroll all the way down here to filters and I'm going to start with the hue. So I'm going to set my hue to 211, the saturation to 600%, brightness to 67, contrast to 112. And finally, I'm going to invert this by 18%. So pretty much that's all I need to do here. I'm going to go ahead now and save. The next stage is to add a text module to column one. So I'm just going to come all the way here to the bottom, click this plus button and search for my text module and select it. So all I need to do here is to add a title and the title can be pretty much anything you want. So I'm just going to get rid of all this text 
and set my title to heading one. So I'm gonna click here on this drop down, set it to heading one. Now let's customize this text by coming over here to design. So since we are going to be working on our heading text, I'm gonna come over here make sure I'm on the heading one tab. And I'm gonna set my heading font to monster ad. Now, if you don't have this on this drop down, all you need to do is to search for it here on the top and it's free to use, it's a Google font. Right, so now that I have, uh, now that I have my font here, I'm gonna click here on heading font weight and I'm gonna set this to semi bold. Right, so moving on, my text color here needs to be white, so I'm gonna go ahead and choose that and my size is going to be 5VW. Now you notice that my text has uh, disappeared, that's because it's on a white background, but this is going to be resolved soon. Next, we are going to add some heading uh, letter spacing and set this to minus two pixels. And I'm also going to come over here to sizing because I want to make sure that it's not going all the way to the edge. So I'm gonna set this to 70%. So again, if you just add 70, notice that it's it's defaulted to 70 pixels. So you wanna make sure you add your percentage right there. Great, so now that I've had my, I have my 70% in there, I'm going to also add my margins. So I'm gonna come over here to spacing, set my top margin to minus 57, and notice now my text is all the way up there to the top. Now, you, you may also want to go in and add your values for the mobile devices. So if I click here on the, my little tab, I have the ability now to go into the tablet and set my sizes. So over here, we're gonna set this to minus 75, okay? And um, for the phone, we're gonna set this to minus 91. So just make sure you go in and um, add the values that make your other devices look great. All right, so now that I've added my spacing, it's time now to add a divider. So I'm gonna save this. Then I'm gonna click this plus button here to add my, my divider module. So I'm gonna search for it and select it. Great, so the next stage now, and make sure that show divider is set to yes because we, will, we are going to style it. So I'm gonna come over here to design line and uh, give this a color. And as I mentioned before, if you wanna use the exact same colors as I'm using throughout this design, I'm gonna leave a link to the post in the show notes below. All right, so I'm gonna click on this eyedropper tool and replace this default color here with my new color. Okay, so that's looking great. Next, I'm gonna to go to sizing because I need to further adjust this. So I'm gonna click here on sizing and I'm gonna set this weight to 0.8 VW. And because this is pretty much going all the way, I need to adjust the size or the width. So to do that, you wanna come over here and set it to 27%. And now you can see I've reduced the width. All right, so that's looking great. The next stage now is to add a text module. So I'm gonna save this, and then I'm just gonna add my text module just below my divider. So I'm gonna click this plus button, search for text, and I'm just gonna select it. Okay, so now we need to go in and customize this text. So I'm gonna start here by going to the design tab, text, and choose my font. And the font I'm gonna go with here is Open Sans. And my text color is going to be white. And my text size is going to be 1VW. And the line height is going to be 1.8VW. All right, so I have all those um, settings in there. That's looking great. Now it's time to work on the sizings because as you can see, this text here is pretty much going all the way to the edge here. That's not really what we want. So I'm gonna come over here to sizing and reduce my width to 53% and then finally save. Now moving on, it's time now to add a button. So I'm gonna click this plus button here to add my button module. And here it is, I'm gonna select it. So the text here which says click here, you can change this to whatever you want. So in my case, I'm just gonna call this learn more. And if you want to add a link to this, you can just come over here and add your link. Now, in my case, I'm just gonna add a blank link. Come over here to design, and now it's time to customize our button. So I'm gonna click here on button and make sure you activate use custom styles for button. So I'm gonna click yes. So let's start here with my text size. So I'm gonna set this to one VW. Button text color, we're gonna set this to white. Okay, so moving on for our button background color, 
we want to set this to black. So I'm just gonna go to my recent colors here and see if I have used black before and here it is. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do here is to remove our border width. So I'm just gonna drag the slider until I see zero. All right, so great. So the button font here, it needs to be open sans as well. So I'm gonna come over here to default and set this to open sans. Right, so we need to add a bit of breathing space on this button. So to do that, we wanna come over here to spacing and uh, let's add a padding of one VW, both to the top and the bottom. And then for the left and right, we're gonna set this to four VW. So as you can see now, this uh, text in the button here has a bit more breathing space. So pretty much we're done here with our design. I'm gonna save this. And then it's time now to add our second row. So to do that, I'm gonna come over here, click this plus button, and I'm gonna choose three columns. All right, so now that I've uh, selected that, I'm just gonna close this for now, and I'm gonna come into my row settings. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do here is to set our background color. So I'm gonna come over here, set this to white, Next, I'm gonna come over here to design. Now remember, our first row is set to 100% on the maximum width. So we need to do the same thing with this one. So I'm gonna come over here to sizing and my maximum width here needs to be set to 100%. All right, so now it's edge to edge, just like the other row. So the next stage is to add a bit of um, padding in my row. So I'm gonna come over here to spacing and I'm gonna set my top to 3VW. 8VW for the bottom, and for the left and right, I'm gonna set this to 7VW and activate my chain. Now it's time to work on my border design. So I'm gonna come over here to border, uh, deactivate this chain because I'm gonna add my values uh, to the top right and bottom left. So I'm gonna set this to 20 VW to the top and bottom left 20 VW. All right, so pretty much that's the shape that we have, but of course we can't see it yet, but we'll see it in a moment. The next stage is to come over here to my border styles and make sure I choose the top one. Okay, and then over here on the border width, I'm gonna set this to 1.2 VW. And then we're gonna add our color by clicking here on the eyedropper tool and pasting the color in here. Now, as I mentioned before, if you wanna use the exact same colors as I'm using throughout this tutorial, I will leave a link to the post in the show notes below. All right, so let's move on and add a box shadow. So I'm gonna come over here, choose my style, and then I'm gonna change my blur strength. So I'm just gonna come over here and set this to 120 pixels. Now, as you can see, my row here is behind this image. So we want to make sure that this row is above the image. And in order for us to do that, we wanna come over here to the advanced tab, click on visibility and on Z index, we need to set this to 10. And now you can see my design is on top of my image. All right, so we're pretty much done with this. I'm gonna go ahead now and save. The next stage now is to add my modules. So I'm gonna click here on this plus button and the module that we need to add in here is a blurb. And here it is, I'm gonna go ahead and select it. So all you need to do here is to add your titles. I'm just gonna call this Lorem. And our text here, I'm just gonna leave that as it is. And then for my image and icon, I wanna make sure that I um, switch this over to use an icon. So I'm gonna come over here and choose my style. Okay, so that's the icon I'm gonna go with. Now let's uh, work on our icon settings. So I'm gonna click here on design. Now, before I do any changes to my icons, I just wanna make sure that my design here is centered. So I'm gonna come over here to text and then I'm gonna set my alignment to centered. Now let's go back to our image and icon. Now, whenever you want to change the uh, design or the size of this, you wanna make sure you come over here to use icon font size, and then you want to go in and set your size. So in this case, I'm gonna set this to 5VW, and now you see it's a bit smaller. And then over here on the color, I just wanna change this to black, and I know I've used black before here, and here it is, I'm gonna select that. But of course, if you don't have it on the recent colors, just click here on this eyedropper tool and then choose your color from here. All right, so now that I've added my color, now it's time to work on my titles. So what I normally do here to make things easier for me, I just go into this area here and highlight where I wanna make my changes to. And you notice that we have this brush tool. So if I select it, 
it's going to take me directly to where I'm going to make my changes to. So in this case, it's my title. So I'm going to change my font to Monster Ad. And then I'm also going to make this bold. So I'm going to select bold here. My text color needs to be black. And again, I'm going to come over here to my recent colors and choose black. And then my size needs to be 1.1 VW. And my letter spacing is going to be minus one. Now it's time to work on the text settings. Now notice if I come over here as, again, I'm going to click on this brush tool and that's going to take me straight to my body text setting. So I'm going to click here on default, set this to open sans. Next, I'm going to work on my body text size. So here I'm going to set this to 0.8 VW and set my line height to 1.5 VW. So pretty much the design of my blurb here is done. I'm just going to save this. So all you have to do now is to duplicate this three, I mean, two times to fill in these columns. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then all you have to do now is to go in and change the titles. Come into the third one here and change the title as well. And pretty much this is our final design. So let's save it and uh, do a quick preview. So I'm just saving the page now. I'm going to exit the Visual Builder. I'm going to save and exit one more time. And pretty much this is our final design. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.